our Taal Volcano story. Okay, well, Sunday, uh, January, <laughs> I don't have a calendar in front of me, January 12th, maybe. Uh, last Sunday, we went to church. There's a Russian Orthodox mission in Tagatai, which is on the very edge of the Taal Crater Caldera, which is where Lake, Ka Lake Taal is. And the more recent crater in the middle has formed an island in that lake. And in the middle of the volcanic crater there, there's a lake. So there's a lake inside a volcano that's inside of a lake that's inside of an island that's Luzon. That's inside the Pacific Ocean. Okay. So... Uh, Lake Taal, which is what it's called, which is where the volcano is, in the middle, it's an island in the middle of Lake Taal. Taal Volcano is an island in the middle of Lake Taal. So Lake Taal is surrounded by mountains, the edges of the crater, okay, it, it seems like mountains. Very high elevation, very cool temperatures, very nice place to live. Uh, for people from places like Canada, the U.S., Great Britain, Germany. Okay, retirees love to come and live there. Very cool temperatures, very high elevation. You can see a long, long way. I always wanted to get on Google Earth to see how far I can see. Because there's places like Starbucks, there's restaurants like Josephine's, that are perched on the very edge of this caldera, the very steep slopes that very much like the Grand Canyon in the US. Absolutely amazing views. You can see incredibly far. I don't know, 30 miles maybe? I don't know. Uh, so we went there. Uh, we went to this Russian Orthodox mission uh, my son received the Eucharist, a very beautiful ceremony. We went out to eat afterwards. Uh, I wanted to stop at Starbucks. Starbucks is perched on the edge, very beautiful view. I just wanted a coffee, maybe a banana bread. I'll split the banana bread with my three-year-old son, uh, and we drive back. But my wife wanted to stop for a meal, so we stopped at Josephine's. We got a big meal. I think we still have leftovers. So uh, we took pictures at the edge of the caldera there and uh, of the lake in the distance and the island. That's a tall volcano in the middle. We took some scenic pictures and posted them on Facebook. And then after that, we went to Starbucks because I wanted to go to Starbucks. My wife wanted lunch. Okay, so uh, we got lunch. I wanted Starbucks. So we stopped at Starbucks on the way home. And I took a picture. And uh, I'll, I'll post it here. And uh, I just, I saw a little wisp of steam. And my wife said, oh, no, you know what? Uh, the residents there, there's a thousand residents on that island. Uh, they're burning trash. And I said, no, no, no. I'm a retired firefighter, a former fire marshal. I, I know that's not trash burning. That's steam. That's a steam emission from the volcano. And I took a picture. And uh, 27 minutes later was the eruption. So we, we missed it. We missed the eruption by 27 minutes, which is a good thing. I'm not saying we, we missed the big show or something. So there's a great deal of ash fall in uh, Desmarina City, which is where we live in Cavite. Great deal of ash. And uh, the ash is very difficult for infants and elderly people. They're not supposed to have it. So I wanted to fly my wife and youngest son, who was not yet one. I wanted to fly them out of here. Maybe my three-year-old son also. Fly them to Mindanao. And uh, I'll stay in the house and uh, safeguard our stuff for a little while. And maybe fly down and join them later if it looks like they're going to be there for a while. And uh, as we were preparing all this, uh, we found out the airport was closed. 
there's no place we could go to uh, to retreat from. Everybody we knew that we could stay with was in the ash cloud also. Uh, the people that we could have stayed with that, that were outside of the ash cloud were on the other side of the volcano in Batangas. Now, we can't drive back towards the volcano to, to go to that side. Um, so we were stuck. Uh, we have a HEPA filter. Uh, an appliance that filters the air uh, microscopically um, called a HEPA filter. I bought that. One of the first appliances I bought when we moved here. Um, a friend of mine had bought that at one of the fire stations I worked at and I slept really well. And uh, our son was born in the U.S. Uh, our eldest son. Uh, he was born at 33 weeks. He was premature. And so I bought a HEPA filter for the U.S. And uh, we raised our son with a HEPA filter. And I really liked it. It helps me sleep better. You really notice the difference. So it was one of the first things we bought when we moved to the Philippines. I, I like having that HEPA filter. And our baby son that's not yet one just basically stayed in the master bedroom with the AC and the HEPA filter. We never lost power. And uh, although we had a significant amount of ash fall, I don't think we had even half an inch of ash fall. Um, but it's blowing around a lot. Uh, we had a lot of sulfur dioxide. Uh, I downloaded a, uh, a picture, I'll try to post it here, of the sulfur dioxide plume. Uh, it smells like a burnt match. When you blow out a match, that lingering smell, that sulfur smell, that sulfur dioxide. I was very familiar with that from the fire department, and uh, we had a lot of that here, just outside for a day. <laughs> so it's hard to get away from. Uh, we discovered uh, this town that's a little bit away from us, maybe 15 kilometers uh, west, east, east, uh, called Tracy Martires never had any ash fall so i drove there with my son to explore the uh, the mall there really nice mall fresh air and then when we came home i noticed the sulfur smell you know you can tell so uh it, it's really amazing anyway uh wanted to let you know um we had uh, some interesting experiences from Tao Volcano, but we're safe. We never lost power, never lost uh, water. We're 30 kilometers north of the volcano, but we were there on the Kadar Caldera Rim in the city called Tagatai, taking pictures <laughs> the day of the eruption. Uh, we left 27 minutes before the eruption. Amazing. So uh, that's our Taal story. Um, we're still here in Desmarinas. We never fled. Everything's good here. Um, kids didn't get sick. We didn't suffer any any impairment. Uh, just some bad odor and uh, some difficulty keeping a three-year-old and a baby that's just shy of his first birthday in a master bedroom for two days. <laughs> some difficulty there. Some practical difficulties, some emotional difficulties, but we did it, and uh, everybody's okay. So that's our story. Take care, all.